In this video we are going to learn about equivalent fractions. Now over here we have three equivalent fractions. Now two thirds is equivalent to four six. And how do we know this? If you multiply two by two and three by two, we get four over six. In the same way, if you multiply two by five and you multiply three by five, we get 10 over 15. So 4 over 6 and 10 over 15 both are equivalent fractions and they are equivalent to 2 thirds. Now the rule is when you're finding the equivalent fractions you will need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So let's go ahead and find equivalent fractions to these fractions. So 2 thirds we can multiply by 2, multiply by 2 that gives us 4 over 6. Let's go ahead and find another equivalent fraction of 2 thirds. We can multiply by 3 times by 3, the numerator and the denominator. That gives us 6 over 9. Now you can find an equivalent fraction of another fraction by multiplying it by any number. Well, like I said previously, the rule is to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Times by, say, pick a number, 5. That means we have to multiply the denominator by 5 as well. So 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 5 is 25. Let's find equivalent fraction to 4 sevenths. So let's pick a number. Let's say 6 and 6. That would give us 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 7 is 42. Let's have a look at these questions. Now over here we have 2 fifths and we are finding the missing number. Now first of all we need to find out what number 5 has been multiplied by to get to 10. So we can see 5 times 2 is 10 or 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we need to multiply the numerator by 2 as well. So 2 times 2 is 4. So pause the video and have a quick go at these questions and I'll put the answers on once you press play. Okay, I hope you had a good go at these questions. So first of all we need to find out 4 times the number gives us 8 which is 2. So that means 3 times 2 which is 6. Over here we have the numerator but the denominator is missing so 2 times 3 is 6 so that means 7 times 3 is going to be 21. 1 times 3 is 3 that means 6 times 3 is going to be 18 so 3 over 18 is an equivalent fraction to 1 sixth. 7 times 3 is 21 so 10 times 3 is 30 and these are the answers for these questions. In the next video we are going to look at how to simplify fractions. So in this series of fraction videos we'll be looking at all the way from finding equivalent fractions to all the way to adding, subtracting fractions. So make sure you don't forget to subscribe and if you want to save this playlist, fractions playlist in your favourites then please do so and I will see you in the next video.